Welcome back. The future of District 60 schools in Pueblo could potentially go to a vote this fall, and the intent is to keep four high schools intact with upgrades to other schools in the district. At today's school board meeting, they picked a plan to present to voters and are now developing the ballot language that I believe we're in desperate need of bond money. Money for District 60 schools, something sophomore Mitchell Morrow can think of a few ways to use. During heavy rain at Central, in one of the inclines there, <laughs> the water floods through. He sat in on the school board meeting where they heard three different options for a bond. Morrow would have liked to see a different, more expensive one chosen. It's still a good option, it's just that it cuts a lot of uh, potential growth for the schools. The board is going with a $237 million bond measure with the public responsible for $218 million of it, according to Barb Clementi, the president of the school board. What's more important than, than public education? If the measure passes, there will be upgrades to South and Central and completely new buildings for Centennial and East, with nine other middle and elementary schools also being renovated. It won't solve all of our problems. Um, because we have lots of challenges in terms of our facilities, um, but it's a terrific beginning. Schools, Morrow says, are more than just buildings. Show that the people care about us and that they want a better future for us. If this were to pass in November, money would start coming in by June of next year, and the new high schools would take around three to four years to build. Also, at the school board meeting, they discussed how voters feel about the potential tax, which comes out to a little more than $6 for every $100,000 of assessed value of your home. Now, according to their study, 6 out of 10 voters say they would pay the additional property taxes. We'll keep tracking this for you.